What's up guys, welcome back to another video, it is Pinewood Studios, and um, today, I know this is probably like a really, really late video, but you know, I probably might have just solved the one of the biggest mysteries on the internet for YouTube since 2014 to like 2016. That is the FNAF Five Nights at Freddy's storyline. So now, ever since we got Sister Location and now the new book, The Twisted Ones, I think we finally have some answers. I I only know like a couple things from like Silver Eyes, but I don't know anything about The Twisted Ones. So, um, yeah. So, um, we're gonna start now. So we all know that Five Nights at Freddy's 4, it takes place in the year 1983. Before then, when, when they saw the kid getting bitten, they thought it was bite of they thought it was the bite of 87. That's that's the bite of 83. They never showed the bite of 87. At least I don't think they did. Um, yeah. Um, basically. Um, so when they basically, and then when Sister Location came out, we learned that Sister Location either takes takes place in the same year or. Um, the next year after Five Nights at Freddy's 4. So it goes from either from 1983 to 1983 or 4. Then we jump all the way to 1990, not to 1997, 1987, where we have Five Nights at Freddy's 2. This was a big step in the game because it finally reveals um, the, mad, the mad killer in the story. William Afton, aka the purple guy, and also more clues and answers as to as to why Golden Freddy crashes your game. And also it introduces the puppet which was possessed by the first by the first um, kid that was killed and then gave life to the animatronics. Yeah. So that happened and then we jump all the way to 1991, I think, cuz I remember um, FNAF 3 takes place in 93, so um, we jumped to 1991, I think it's 1991, and that's where Five Nights at Freddy's 1 comes in, and this is where we meet the, like, um, um, the, the first slash second security guard, Mike Schmidt, and basically, um, by then, we all know, like, um, that the older animatronics from FNAF 2 were fixed up and turned into, um, the animatronics now, that we know from 2014 and then um, then one day the spirits became um, noticed by Afton and then he died well he didn't die he um, was crushed alive inside the spring lock suit and then we finally have FNAF 3 FNAF 3 was where things were things it screwed up all our theories but now with all the other games out, FNAF 4 and Sister Location, it finally makes sense. This is the last storyline. Basically, Purple Guy is now... Fling Trap is now possessed by Purple Guy, as we all know. And he tries to kill the Night Guard. But it's unclear who the Night Guard is. My theory is that it's Jeremy Fitzgerald from, from FNAF 2. But there's also theory flying around that he was the one that got bit from Foxy in Fight of 87. So that's also a theory, but I am still sticking with that theory. It's either Mike Schmidt or Jeremy Fitzgerald, and then um, then we got um, Silver Eyes and the Twisted Ones. S Silver Eyes takes place; it's an alternate version, but it but it's linked. It links to the story and tells the story of Five Nights at Freddy's and with Sister Location. And the Twisted Ones, I'm guessing it also tells the story of Five Nights at Freddy's 4, because on the on the cover it shows um Nightmare. So I'm, I'm guessing that's what it is. So there you have it. I finally revealed the full story. This is how the timeline went. So it went from FNAF 4, Sister Location, FNAF 2, FNAF 1, and FNAF 3. All the five games, that's how the story went. Finally, FNAF is exposed well not really exposed just the timeline is expo is exposed but the story still remains a mystery till this day and we don't know if the purple guy was actually William Afton but there's still some mysteries that are waiting to be revealed once I read 
um, the Twisted Ones. My name is Prime with Studios. Thank you all for watching, and bye bye.